All right, everybody, check it out. We're doing a little bit of out with the old and in with the new. Back up a little bit and check it out. 2022 F350 with a 7.3 Godzilla engine in it. Came up to be at the end of the year. We really needed to spend some money for some farm taxes and stuff like that. And there wasn't anything to buy. We needed a tractor, couldn't find a tractor. We needed a planter, couldn't find a planter. Looked for uh, semi trailers, couldn't really find any semi trailers. So I started looking around at used pickup trucks. And by the time I found what I liked in a used pickup truck, it was actually more economic to order a brand new one than it was to, to buy a used one. So this is the Lariat Ultimate package. And it also has the Chrome package on it. I didn't want the sport package or the black package. I just wanted a normal looking pickup truck that's going to last me for quite a while. It's got all kinds of options on it. It's actually pretty cool. We'll do a walk around of it here. Um, the chrome wheels on it. I'm yelling, but I guess I don't need to because we're using my new microphone. Oh yeah, we're big time Check now. Check that out. We even have it hidden a little bit. <laughs> but... Uh, and I am having a little trouble talking. Been fighting a cold for the last week and a half. One of the reasons I haven't put a video out, Christy Haven, I have, uh, I did see your video. You did call me out on the what's in your pocket. We will be doing that video coming up. So I just want to throw that in there. But, uh, six foot nine inch bed or something like that, which is, basically the short bed for for the uh, super duties it has the big hitch small insert in it and it is dirty it's dirty because it's been raining and we've been driving it having fun with it yep she's a beast i went with uh, the uh, big gas engine and i'm probably going to take a lot of heat because I didn't get the diesel, but it's an extra almost $9,000 more over the engine that I bought in this. 6.2 is what's standard, the 7.3 is what I ended up buying, and I just figured we're going to use the diesel or the gas engine more than I would use a diesel. It's really windy on this side, so. Went ahead and got the LED headlights. They're pretty expensive if you're going to break them, but hopefully I won't break them. The uh, truck actually sits pretty tall, and I don't know, it doesn't seem to be too hard. I can reach up pretty well and get in it. I will start out first. We have the rubber floor mats with the carpet underneath of them. We did not get the... Uh, carpeted floor mats but uh, we have the rubber floor mats and then on our website, Benjamin it's got a huge television screen here to push all kinds of buttons that who knows when I will ever or what buttons I will be pushing you just never do know but uh, it links up with your telephone it's really pretty cool I, this is really a big deal for me because you know, it's just not every day you get to go out and buy a new vehicle and stuff like that. When was that. the last time you did? 1995. I bought a uh, Ford F-350 with a Power Stroke diesel in it. Regular cab truck. Probably, probably the best truck I've ever owned in my life. But uh, it's got the... It's got the moonroof in it or sunroof or whatever you call it. Hit that button there, it goes back, but then it goes on back. Panoramic sunroof. Wasn't really a big deal on my list, but Corky really likes the sunroof, and she has one in her truck, so we went ahead and got it. But uh, push button start, and so many different bells and whistles on it that I don't know when I'll ever use them, or if I will ever use them. 
but uh, I'm pretty excited about this truck. I know I'm going to take a lot of heat because we're getting rid of the GMC, but uh, the GMC isn't going too far away. Cannon, he's going to buy the GMC. So, man, that's been a very good truck for me. It's got 214,000 miles on it. It's been a good truck. Um, with the way YouTube's going right now, and we're getting around doing uh, more speaking events and stuff like that, I wanted something that I could get in and I could drive to the different speaking events that we're doing. And or, you know, if we take the family, we can either take this truck or Corky's truck. So, pretty excited. What do you think? I love it. I love it, too. I actually really like it. Um, the Dash does so many different things. And there's so many of you guys that already know about this because you already have one or you got one a couple years ago or something like that but you know for me not ever buying a new pickup or getting a very new pickup truck ever it does so much stuff a uh, local dealer in here at urbana ohio is white's ford and that's where we got the truck tony took care of me in there and um i just want to say thank you to tony and i want to say thank you to white's for taking care of us in there um the only thing we don't have right now is we don't have a ball in the bed of the truck. So I was trying to get a build date on this thing and the Ford hitch that comes in the bed of the truck, we couldn't get that through Ford. So I wasn't getting a build date. I ordered this thing on the 18th of December and I, it was built the 1st of April, either the 1st or the 2nd of April. And then I got it, what, on the 8th? Yeah. I don't know. But, uh, so we don't have a ball in the bed yet, but we are going to get a ball. Um, Derwood's going to take care of us on that, get us fixed up on that. I just went and I picked up a new bed mat for the truck and got it through Whites. Whites took care of us on that. And also the electric that goes inside of the cab so you can plug gooseneck hitches in and stuff like that. We do have that stuff now, but... Uh, Turner Trailer Sales thought that we may have our parts by the end of the week, if not by the beginning of next week. Really excited over this truck, and you guys are going to be seeing it a lot more in a lot of videos, so, because it's the new farm truck, so. Yeah. All right. But I bought a Ford. Woo! About damn time. Really, as long as it's not a Dodge, I'm happy, so. Oh well, so now we gotta take it and we gotta go to town. We gotta go to King's, we gotta get some feed for the horses. We gotta get a uh, milk replacer for the bottle babies. And we gotta stop at the, the uh, post office, post office but and we pick up get some the, things. We gotta get the camper. And we gotta take the old truck for That's that. That's right. We're gonna take old red in to get the camper. But uh, Oh, uh, the horses are rolling. Oh, we missed it. Brownie was laid all out. Was he really? Maybe yeah. he'll do it again. No, I doubt it. Look, there's old red. That's going to make Cannon a good truck. Yeah, it is. Yep, the big Dodge went bye-bye yesterday. <laughs> all right. King feeding supply in West Liberty, Ohio. Hometown feed store. That's right. How are you? Thank you. Hey, thank you. Andy needs an Echo and... We're going to get comments. Because uh, I'm not carrying it. You can put it in the truck. <laughs> hey, check that out. We got a package. Push button start. Ooh. <laughs> and we're jamming. Oh, there she stops. Thanks, man. Yes, sir. Thank you. Have a good day. You Back in the mighty GMC again here, guys. Heading into the fairgrounds right now to pick up the camper. This thing's actually been in the shop getting some work done to it. Had some lights on on the dash and 
I told Ken and we'd deal with that before he bought this truck. So heading in to get the camper right now. We're supposed to get it out almost a month ago. So needless to say, I got an extra month of storage in here. So <laughs> it sat in their driveway instead of mine. Look at my mic. I like it. <laughs> There she is. Old girl. There it is in all of her glory. Oh, God, put the tailgate down. That'd be a bad day. That is positive. Yep. Up we go. Oh yeah, that's good right there. There it is. All pre-tripped and inspected, ready to go. That's right. Don't look at the tail line. <laughs> Anyone in here? Hello? Oh yeah. He's gonna miss it. Good? All right. Going up. There she blows. All right. Yeah. Another successful mission. Made by the GMC. Mm-hmm. It'll still be in the family though, so if we need it again, I'm sure we can use it. <laughs> Just in case the port doesn't hold up. <laughs> 